Izaku. Rachel Ghoul was a big time member of the Batman Rogues Galleries to comic book fans, but he had never appeared in any other media. You know, he'd never been in any of the cartoons or the TV shows or anything, so people at home didn't know who the heck he was. But us being hardcore comic book geeks and really loving those original Denny O'Neill, uh, Neil Adams, Rachel Ghoul stories, um, we really wanted to do them. He represents a break from Batman's traditional rogues gallery in that he's not really born of Gotham City. He's uh, from overseas, he's a leader of a, of a global empire of assassins. Nobody really knows his name or they've heard whispers of it, yet the man is immensely wealthy, immensely powerful. The strange thing about Raish is he really wants to preserve the Earth. He sees modern technology and the way things are going as, as destructive. But uh, he uh, has no problem with, with uh, offing as many people as possible in order to preserve the planet. And Batman clearly can't allow him to do that. We didn't want to do any ghost stories. But uh, with Ra's al Ghul, it made sense because he's a very spiritual guy. He's a guy been living forever. He's relatively immortal. He's lived hundreds of years and, uh, and has a beautiful daughter that loves Batman. And that makes things tough because he kind of likes it too. It's the ultimate temptation story, because by agreeing to follow Raish, Batman can accomplish everything he set out to do, wipe out crime, restore order, and kind of in a weird way get his father back. But Batman is too clever to see for that. He knows that as, as, as attractive as a lot of that is, he can't succumb to that. That's truly going to evil. <laughs>